Maccabeem Rishon, 1 Maccabees 12. Now when Jonathan saw that time served him, he chose certain men and sent them to Rome for to confirm and renew the friendship that they had with them. He sent Sepharim also to the Lacedaemonians and to other places for the same purpose. So they went unto Rome and entered into the Senate and said, Jonathan the high priest and the people of the Yahudim sent unto us unto you. To the end ye should renew the friendship which ye had with them and league as in the former time. Upon this the Romaim gave them Seraphim, rather Sepharim, unto the governors of every place, that they should bring them into the land of Yahudah peaceably. And this is the copy of the Sepharim which Jonathan wrote to the Lacedaemonians. Jonathan the high priest, and the elders of the nation, and the priests, and the other of the Yahudim, unto the Lacedaemonians, their brethren, send greetings, rather greeting. There were Sepharim sent in times past unto Onyahu, rather Onyahu, the high priest from Dariavish, who reigned then among you, to signify that ye are our brethren, as the copy here underwritten specifies, at which time Onyahu entreated the ambassador that was sent honorably and received the Sepharim, wherein declaration was made of the league and friendship. Therefore we also, albeit we need none of these things, that we have the holy Sepharim of Scripture in our hands to comfort us, have nevertheless attempted to send unto you for the renewing of brotherhood and friendship, lest we should become strangers unto you altogether. For there is a long time past since ye sent unto us. We therefore at all times without ceasing, both in our feasts and other convenient days, do remember you in the sacrifices which we offer, and in our prayers, as reason is, and as it becomes us to think upon our brethren. And we are right glad of your honor. As for ourselves, we have had great troubles and wars on every side. For so much as the kings that are round about us have fought against us. Howbeit, we would not be troublesome unto you, nor to others of our confederates and friends in these wars. For we have help from heaven that helps us, so as we are delivered from our enemies, and our enemies are brought underfoot. For this cause we chose Numenius, the son of Antichius, and Anatapia, rather Antipater, the son of Yechon, and sent them unto the Romaim to renew the amity that we had with them and the former league. We commanded them also to go unto you and to salute and to deliver you our Sepharim concerning the renewing of our brotherhood. Wherefore now ye shall do well to give us an answer thither to, rather thereto, and this is the copy of the Sepharim which Onaeus sent. Arius, king of the Lacedaemonians, to An Onyahu, the high priest, greeting. It is found in writing that the Lacedaemonians and Yahudim are brethren, and that they are of the stock of Avraham. Now therefore, since this is come to our knowledge, Ye shall do well to write unto us of your prosperity. We do write back again to you that your cattle and goods are ours, and ours are yours. We do command, therefore, our ambassadors to make report unto you on this wise. Now when Jonathan heard that Demetrius's princes were come to fight against him with a great host, rather with a greater host than afore, he removed from Yerushalayim and met them in the land of Hamath, for he gave them no respite to enter his country. He sent spies also unto their tents, who came again 
and told him that they were appointed to come upon them in the night season. Wherefore, so soon as the sun was down, Jonathan commanded his men to watch and to be in arms, that all the night long they might be ready to fight. Also he sent forth sentinels round about the host, but when the adversaries heard that Jonathan and his men were ready for battle, they feared and trembled in their hearts, and they kindled fires in their camp. Howbeit Jonathan and his company knew it not till the morning. For they saw the lights burning. Then Jonathan pursued after them, but overtook them not. For they were gone over the river Eleutherus. Wherefore Jonathan turned to the Aravim, who were called Zavadim, and smote them, and they took rather and took their spoils. And removing thence he came to Damascus, and so passed through all the country. Shimon also went forth and passed through the country unto Ashkelon, and the holds there adjoining, from whence he turned aside to Yafo and won it. For he had heard that they would deliver the hold unto them that took Demetrius' part. Wherefore he set a garrison there to keep it. After this came Jonathan home again, and calling the elders of the people together, he consulted with them about building strongholds in Yahudah, and making the walls of Yerushalayim higher, and raising a great mount between the tower and the city, for to separate it from the city, that so it might be alone, that men might neither sell nor buy in it. Upon this they came together to build up the city, for as much as part of the wall toward the brook on the east side was fallen down, and they repaired that which was called Chafen Atha. Shimon also set up Chatid in Shelfela and made it strong with gates and bars. Now Tryphon went about to get the kingdom of Asia, and to kill Antiochus the king, that he might set the crown upon his own head. Howbeit he was afraid that Jonathan would not suffer him, and that he would fight against him. Wherefore he sought a way now, rather, a way how to take Jonathan, that he might kill him. So he removed and came to Beat San. Then Jonathan went out to meet him with forty thousand men chosen for the battle, and came to Beat San. Now when Tryphon saw Jonathan came with so great a force, he dared not stretch his hand against him, but received him honorably, and commended him unto all his friends, and gave him gifts, and commanded his men of war to be as obedient unto him as to himself. Unto Jonathan also he said, Why have you brought all this people to so great trouble, seeing there is no war betwixt us? Therefore send them now home again, and choose a few men to wait on you, and come with me to Akko, for I will give it you, and the rest of the strongholds and forces, and all that have any charge. As for me, I will return and depart, for this is the cause of my coming." So Jonathan, believing him, did as he bade him, and sent away his host, so went, rather, who went into the land of Yahudah, and with himself he retained but three thousand men, of whom he sent two thousand into Galil, and one thousand went with him. Now as soon as Jonathan entered into Akko, they of Akko shut the gates and took him, and all them that came with him they slew with the sword. Then sent Tryphon a host of footmen and horsemen into Galil and into the great plain to destroy all Yahunathan's company. But when they knew that Jonathan and they that were with him were taken and slain, they encouraged one another and went close together prepared to fight. They therefore that followed him upon them, perceiving that they were ready to fight for their lives, turned back again. Whereupon they all came into the land of Yahudah peaceably, and there they bewailed Jonathan and them that were with him, 
and they were sore afraid. Wherefore all Yashadael made great lamentation. Then all the heathen that were round about them sought to destroy them. For said they, they have no captain, nor any to help them. Now therefore let us make war upon them, and take away their memorial from among men.